Hey guys, Jason Creole, and you're watching Lawn Care Life. Just looked at myself, my hair's messed up, but oh well, we'll, we'll, we'll persevere. Um, I'm standing in front of my truck, one of my uh, trucks, and got the spray rig. I had somebody leave a comment asking about the split tank setup. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my setup here for weed control and fertilization, my spray tank setup. Then I'm going to show you a fancy setup that we saw at the GIE Expo from the same company. So I buy from Graham Spray Equipment. They're based out of Douglasville, Georgia. Uh, and this is the pickup truck unit. This is a 300 gallon I'm going to show you today. But I want to show you uh, toward the end of the video the uh, conversation I had uh, with Teddy, which is one of their sales reps. But he's showing me the new truck design that might be an option for some of you that are wanting to keep mowing and spray at the same time. They've got an awesome setup for that. Or if you want to put your ride on spreader sprayer on the back of the truck, let me show you what they've developed. But let me talk about this. Uh, the specific question I was asked was about why do I have a split tank, the benefits of having a split tank. So let me show you the rig and we're going to talk about that. Then I'll show you the other video uh, with Teddy at Graham. All right, so here's my setup. I've, I've shown it for, I think it's a 300 foot hose on, uh, I don't know how you say it, Hane. How do you say that? Anyway, that kind of real, um, but they're, they're great. Uh, the tank, 300 gallon split tank. So you got roughly, I say 300, maybe it's slightly less. This is 180. On this side, you could probably cram 185 in there if you needed to, and 100 on this side. So I guess it's a 280 gallon tank. You got the little Honda engine here, um, and then you've got these valves set up. Mine's got a bean pump, so it's a, a piston pump, I think, as opposed to like the more diaphragm pumps. I, uh, anyway, that's just what I've been using. So these valves here are what you use to switch it back from one tank to the other. So when I've got them all three down in that position, it's, it's pumping from the large side over there. If I flip those right two up, then it's gonna start pumping from the small side. So here's how it works with a split tank. So why do a split tank? I highly recommend it, but I'm dealing with warm season grasses. We're talking about Bermuda, Zoysia, St. Augustine, Centipede. Well, as a general rule of thumb, I kind of treat the Bermuda and Zoysias fairly similar, and then Centipede and St. Augustine fairly similar. But you don't, a lot of the things that you can spray on a Bermuda or Zoysia lawn, you can't spray on a Centipede or St. Augustine lawn. So just at a very basic level, that's how I set my tank up a lot of times. So for instance, right now doing fall applications, on the large side, I've got it set up for Bermuda and Zoysia lines, which means I'm using Spectacle Flow, I'm using uh, Simazine, I'm using 2,4-D as a post-emergent weed control, and then I've got my surfactant in there. So the small side is my Centipede St. Augustine side. So uh, I'm using Prodiamine on that side instead of Spectacle Flow, and I'm, I'm still using the Simazine over there to get me some uh, post-emergent control of POA annual stuff like that. But you see, that's just a very basic situation where I've got two sides uh, in some yards, to be honest with you, and these are a little more troublesome, but some yards will have the front yard will be Bermuda, the backyard will be Centipede or something like that. So in the middle of the yard, I can switch it over from one tank to the other. And practically speaking, how you do that is, like for instance, in this situation, the, the one side with Spectacle Flow and, and Simazine is white. Okay, the other side that's got the Prodiamine in it is yellow. So it's very obvious when you switch from one tank to the other. In some situations, you might be using, the, they both might be yellow. Let's say I was using Prodiamine on both sides uh, in the fall, but I had a different post-emergent in there, um, but you couldn't tell by looking at it. Well, what I'll do, I'll put some blue dye on the small side so that I can tell when I clear the line when I'm spraying the side that's for Centipede St. Augustine or, or when I need to switch it back to the side that's Bermuda Zoysia. So that, that's how you, how you work it out and those valves will switch it back and forth. Um, but I'm using this all the time. I mean, so, you know, you think, well, if I just had one tank, couldn't I just go do all my Bermuda Zoysia yards one day and then go do all my Centipede St. Augustine yards another day? Well, you could, but that might not be most efficient for your route. And it doesn't really cost that much extra to split your tank up. So, I mean, if I drove 30 minutes away and I've got, uh, you know, let's say two Centipede yards, well, I don't want to have to go back the very next day to go do those two Centipede yards. I want to do them all the same day. Well, it just makes it easy when you got a truck that you can switch from one side to the other. You can take care of all your yards.
Now other applications I might use this for, let's say I'm in, in the fall and I'm, you know, got some kind of post-emergent weed control in there, but then we get hit with army worms or something like that. Well, I can have an army worm product uh, in one side or, you know, that, that's just another application. No, another way I could use it, let's say on one yard I want to pull the hose uh, for whatever reason and spray it with the hose but on another yard I want to use my right on spreader which is spraying it. I might be using the same product combination but at a much higher concentrated rate in the right on spreader sprayer because it's spraying a lot less volume. Well I might have one side mixed a lot more concentrated than the other. Again I'm going to put a blue dye in one side so that I can tell uh, when I'm using one side or the other because I need to spray it back into the one tank until it gets to the other tank If that makes sense. These are some practical ways you can use a split tank. Highly recommend it. Let me say this too I keep having people ask me questions about my upcoming conference and I want to keep talking about it It's, it's coming up in a few weeks. So lawncarelife.com. There's a link that says conference But some people think that all we're talking about is weed control and fertilization. That's not all we're talking about We're there for two days we're gonna have uh, several sessions dedicated to weed control and fertilization for those who are interested in it. For those who are not interested in it, you don't have to go to those. We're gonna have other sessions that are available for you at the same time. So that, during that part of the day, we're gonna actually split the group up. But for those who are interested in weed control, yes, we are gonna talk about that and we're talking specifically about how to put together your program. A lot of people are mowing grass, they're saying, I want to get into weed control, but I don't really know where to start. Well, we're gonna talk about Here's what you need to apply and here's when to apply it, both for warm season grasses and cold and cool season grasses. And then talk about pricing all and equipment, all the other things, calibration that you need to get started with this weed control. So it's, it's very helpful to be there to see this stuff firsthand, but also just be connected with the people who can provide ongoing support for you after the event. We're going to talk a lot of stuff about just growing a more successful business and talk about things that are going to benefit people no matter what area of the lawn care business you're in so it's not a weed control conference per se but we will have that information there for those who are interested in getting into that to see the speakers and the itinerary and the sponsors and the prizes i'm saying we're giving away a, a x mark commercial uh push mower we're giving away a spiker push spreader we're giving away a mojack giving away uh, a blade sharpener from All American Sharpener, giving away Cujo footwear, giving away uh, dry wraps, the trimmer wrap covers. I mean, a lot of stuff we got to give away. But it's not, you know, those some people are going to win prizes, and that'd be great. But we're going to have a good time. Got Brian Shane from Top Notch, got Alan Hain, the lawn care nut, Brian Fulton, Brian's lawn maintenance, and a host of other people there. I said this before. If you want to come and, it, and there's a a barrier financially or whatever i can help you out just get in touch with me leave me a comment you can use the code youtube when you sign up that'll save you 10 percent off your registration but go to lawncarelife.com and then uh, click on the conference link now let's check out now let me show you the video i had with with teddy at the gia and show you uh their awesome new setup at graham those Hey guys, Jason Creel, and I'm here with Teddy from Graham Spray Equipment, and we're showing off one of their new rigs. Now, I've been, if you follow me on YouTube, you know I've been using the Graham pickup truck units, but I follow what they're building, and Teddy's been telling me about this, uh, what's behind me for a while now, but they've actually got it out and, and selling it. It's actually the show special's already sold. But what, Teddy, tell me, like, I know what it's about. The idea is the, the problem you have sometimes if you got a unit and then you got a whether you have a mower or you got a ride on fertilizer spreader and you got to put like an external rack or pull a trailer. And this is kind of the all in one deal that I can pull a you know a, a ride on spreader on the back of this or I guess a mower if you were mowing and doing weed control. So it's kind of all inclusive solution, but you know, what are y'all calling this? for one and then just kind of go over the features yeah. for so people know you know what's going on uh, well we call it uh, the lawnscaper is what we've termed it as but uh, I wanted to call it the convertible because of that I own my own business for yeah. 17 years and I didn't want a, a dedicated truck to anything so what we did is we got our hand stuff this is a 400 gallon split tank two hose guns reels and motors and pumps uh, we got a filler tank for the Z spray or, or whatever your ride on is. Uh, 
and then a big dry box over there that holds about a uh, half a pallet of fertilizer. And as you see, the, the unit is on a torqueable frame. There's 16 bolts holding all this on so that in a matter of an hour, you can have this truck converted completely back to just a landscape truck. Of course, as you see on the back, there's a lot of uh, room for the ride-ons or as you say, uh, mowing equipment or whatever. And uh, within, like I say, within just a few minutes. I know for me, I've got two gram units and both on a pickup truck. One of them I've got a flatbed on, the other I've got a more traditional pickup bed. I actually like working out of the, the flatbed better. So, like, with the idea of the flatbed, like the pickup unit's fine, okay, but when I got loaded with fertilizer, you got to reach over the bed and pull the fertilizer up. It's just a lot easier, you know, of course, if you had a box, that's even better to keep it out of the weather and that sort of thing. But, I, you know, the good thing about this, you can mount, like, if you got a backpack sprayer you can just mount that rack right on this bed where on my truck new pickup truck I'm not really ready to drill holes in the top of the, the bed rail and it sits up a little higher you know I like that this sits lower so I like the idea of the, the flatbed you know and then as far as the weight I know like the difference in the what's the GBW and all that kind of the amount of weight you can hold with one of these is it's gonna be, you know, more than I just don't want to run out of liquid in a day. This you probably wouldn't run out for a week, maybe you know, depending on how you had it calibrated. But you know, there's if you've got a you know established business, I'm not saying go buy one of these first week you're in business, but when you get enough volume and you really want productivity and, and the idea of just being maximum efficiency then I could see something like this, you know, being worth the investment. Because if you start generating a lot of money and you need the tax write-off, yeah, I mean, it's more expensive than a pickup rig, but not that much more expensive. So, you know, it all depends on your needs, but I think I like the, the engineering creativity behind this design. Actually, I, I was a, uh, I owned my own company for 17 years in Metro Atlanta. And I started out typically like like everyone else did, pickup truck, trailer, yeah. that kind of thing. And what we've actually found, this thing goes for right at sixty thousand. So if you buy a twenty five hundred heavy duty, a nice trailer, yeah. and then the spray stuff, you're going to come out maybe a little over that. Yeah. So for that initial guy, it depends. But for that initial guy, it, it is an affordable yeah. thing. Now a couple little features, little quick features is if you notice down on the bed, there is no space here. That's where fertilizer drills cannot get out, get away from you. These are fold down rails, underbody toolboxes, things like that. Over 24 years, I developed what I think is the uh, premier uh, truck that again, you won't run out of stuff, yeah. but there's a lot of other little features. Please give us a call, you know. Yeah. And of course, Jason, thank you for your business. You call, Teddy's gonna bring, my, at the, in November, we're having the Lawn Care Life Conference, and uh, you can go to lawncarelife.com to check out that, but uh, Teddy's actually gonna bring one of these trucks there, so you can see it, and we can, you know, put it to, put it to use and see what it'll do, but then also, my truck, I'll have a pickup unit so you can compare those side by side but I like talking with Teddy because he he was years in the business so he's you know he's not just been on the sales side he's been out in the field too so that makes a big difference but anyway appreciate you John. appreciate you I really like dealing with the people over at Graham. When it, you know what I like about them, if you ever have a problem, you just call them. They can usually walk you through a lot of stuff on the phone. But they, you know, they truly are helpful to you and, and stand behind their product. And they make great sprayers too. That's it for today's video. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. Check out the conference link at LawnCareLife.com and leave a comment. Let me hear from you. I'll talk to you guys later. I gotta go ahead and fix my hair. See you later. Bye.